Howdy and welcome to a Jared Slug Day 46. Uh, still not dead just yet, but uh, got cut off at night. And I thought yesterday was busy. Today's gonna be even worse because I got stuff I have to go to for uh, honors. Like I have to go to two research expo events today, and uh, I have to do the chem stuff like post lab, pre lab all that stuff today and that's gonna be awful and then I have uh, fizz stuff I still need to do and I still need to figure out that one problem in Diffy Q so today is gonna be a little rough but you know it is what it is kind of thing it isn't what it isn't so oh well then I'm gonna go to breakfast and just hope I don't get killed for right now so uh I'll be back shortly. Right, I'm back. I got slight bad news. I got got I got got at Booth, which makes me sad because I went there and I was like, if I see her, I'll just run. I ended up seeing her. She ended up sneaking up on me. It's because like the rule was you had to be evangelized or someone to not get got. But I was talking to another person in Kyle at that point, and she just ran up and got me. But I guess that means now I'm going. I'm off to the annex. I did the honors thing. Turns out there was one of them where you could just go. To like it was like a resource fair thing. So you could just go in talk to people and head out so it's like 110 currently so I have way more time than I thought I would but I have a lot to get done so I'm off I'm actually off to the annex and do stuff but I did learn something interesting and that is the fact that the annex sixth floor has a, like a recording studio thing so I want, I want to use it for this stuff because this is like in the moment things and I'll probably still use my Mac to edit this stuff because I want it to get out quick instead of like doing that stuff but that may be where I'd mentioned I'd been considering starting other projects I think this may have been a push to just start doing start looking at some of that other stuff because we're already coming up to day 50 which I think is a decent enough time to be like yeah I made a habit out of this I'm gonna keep on doing this but that means that there's one of the two projects I want to do I'm not sure which one I want to start on first that may depend like I said, I may depend on a lot of other people. Thing I'll probably ask a couple of people for advice. My guess is the person I'll probably talk to about this is Michael because he's 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 probably the expert on my content, I guess, because he was the first person to find out about it. He's the most consistent watcher, I'd say that, or my sister. I guess Houston and Peter watch it a decent amount now, but I'll probably consult some of them, see what they think about my different times of content, and go from there. Because yeah, I got I got some interesting ideas. I think the. Uh, the studio would help with a lot, so I mean, you know, just figure out. So, um, but I mean, yeah, that's what I'll have to say for now. Now I'm going to the uh, the annex. I don't have to worry about dying now because I'm already dead. But I also started talking to to Juan, who's running the game. I was complaining about the fact that I died at booth. And he started telling me some interesting ideas he had for future games of Assassins or potentially just future rounds of this game of Assassin. And they got me pretty excited about the future of the game. Because, I mean, I had fun playing it for, even though I didn't get to play that much of it. So, yeah, that's what I'll have to say for uh, now. So, uh, I'll be back shortly. Just got out of uh, physics. Uh, I had a pretty crappy time doing the uh, chem labs with that meet. So, I, had, I still haven't studied for my exam tomorrow yet. So, that's kind of whack. But uh, hopefully I'll get to study in the next couple of days. Cause uh, I mean that next day, I'm like, like sometime tonight, probably after Kai off for a little bit, I'll probably hop on the grind, look over all the problems. I have to look over them again at some point tomorrow. But I also have the chem lab tomorrow, so that won't be that won't be ideal because I'll have to be doing uh, I'll be doing that stuff then too. So that's just not. Not great, Chief, honestly, it makes me kind of sad. But I mean, you know, it is what it is and isn't what it isn't, so I really don't know. I mean, I'm definitely going to head to Kai Alpha soon, but I think I'll probably end up getting some food. I get a, get a quick snack from my room, get something to drink, drink, eat, pee probably, I don't know. But just go in, relax a little bit, just for like a couple minutes, head out because I for some reason signed up to greet people tonight because I, I did it last week after David just gave me a sign and walked away so uh, this time I'll be doing I'll be, I, I, I'm doing it again of course this time is on my own volition 
so it's kind of my own fault there. But after that, I'll be uh, studying, I guess, and praying a, a lot. I'll be honest, because this is not, this is not good. Yeah, I don't feel great about this right now, but oh well, it is what it is and it isn't what it isn't. And either just do better in the future, or maybe I'll end up doing good on this, and then I'll just keep the system going. But I mean, yeah, who knows? We'll figure it out then. I can't, I can't control. I shouldn't worry about tomorrow because I gotta worry about today kind of thing. So it is what it is. So uh, that's what I'll have to say for now. So I'll be back shortly. Right. Just got out of service. It's like 10.35, so it's late. But I got no regrets, man. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal sermon tonight. You know, we did stories of the Old Testament. I talked about we done... I think I talked about the fact that we didn't know Noah, Noah and the Ark and like the flood and stuff like that first week. Uh, second week, you know, we talked about David and stuff like that, and that was good. But this was probably my my favorite one. It was about Daniel's and the, Daniel and the lions. Then, in like the first half, you know, I just told the story about like Daniel got thrown in kind of thing, and he's like, well, why did he survive? And he's talking about like different qualities that we should look for in our relationships with God and relationship with us. The first was like innocence. And like having conviction of like doing the right stuff and like not wanting to defile your relationship with God. And that was that was powerful. And he started talking about like he started talking about like intellectual pursuit of God and being like, you know, God, are you real kind of thing was okay. But it was it was better to ask the question, like you, you should be asking those questions, and then driving forward and like constantly pursuing God to find an answer kind of thing rather than just being like asking the question and just like leaving it uncertain kind of thing. And that like that idea of like having an unshakable conviction was just really powerful, man. I got an exam tomorrow. I haven't studied for it or anything. You know, I, I've prayed about it a decent amount now, but uh, I, mean, I, I studied for it a couple days ago and then now I'm gonna try to get back to the dorm room. Honestly, I probably won't study for it tonight. My guess is I'll end up going to sleep. I'll have time in between my chem class, my lab, like I saw two hours where I would just grind on that stuff. And I should have like another two hours between my lab and my class where I'll grind on it then. But you know, that's tomorrow's worries. Tomorrow I may end up having to do something else. So who knows? But I mean, it's all just in the hands of God, which praise God, because it, I would not be able to figure it out if it was in my hands. So I mean, yeah, that's all to say for now, you know. Uh, it's just, it was just powerful, powerful stuff this this week. So yeah, that's about all I have to say for the day. It was a pretty good day. I just need to make sure I get back kind of quickly to my room because my, my roommate's been doing a lot of late nights recently and I, I feel bad about it still. So yeah, that's all I have to say. So uh, thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you again sometime.